Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, and today we're going to take a look around this uh, Mini 1275 GT supercharged that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the start of the, uh, the driving video. Apologies, it's a bit windy today and I haven't got my, um, my windsock with me to keep the noise off, but uh, I'm sure we'll manage. Okay, let's take a look around this rather splendid Mini 1275 GT supercharged. Just come out of our workshop following uh, a long sort of mechanical recommissioning and getting it right. Um, really rather special. Black with uh, gold 1275 GT stripes, 12 inch super light alloys, really like replicas. Serious negative camber on the front wheels. Falcon tyres there. Um, I think that's a Falcon as well. Yeah, matching sets Falcon there. And yeah, so matching set of Falcon um, size wise, they are 165 60R12s. Um, obviously inside it's got the uh, really nice set of bucket seats and what have you and a uh, special dash although it's got the proper three, light, uh, three, three dial centre dash that a 1275 GT should have. So but it's real crowning glory this one is the way it performs with this supercharger. It's pretty good uh, and it is a proper 1275 GT. So, looking around it, uh, it's obviously been restored at some point in the past. I haven't been through the history yet to see when it was done and what have you, but the paintwork is generally pretty good, especially as black shows every mark. Um, we have got a little chip back here on the edge of the wing where the bonnet has touched it at some point. As you can see, the bonnet does sit very slightly proud. Um, we've tried pulling it down a bit and all that, all that happens when you do that is um, you can't open it. <laughs> Uh, so we've adjusted it as best we can so that it doesn't sit too proud, but uh, yeah, that's uh, it, at least it, it shuts and locks properly now. You can open it again. Um, what have we got here? We have actually got a little tiny bubble just on the edge of the offside front wing just there. And a couple more bubbles just coming up just here. Not on this side though. This seam trim could be fitted slightly better. Let's see if we can push it in a bit. That's it. So wheels are in excellent shape. Scuttle corner, little crack in the paint just there. But otherwise, across the scuttle, she's pretty good. Screen is okay. Roof is nice. A per a. Apex panel, all good. The um, trims down the bottom there could be fitted slightly better, or could have been fitted slightly better, in terms of the way they line up. Um, in here, it's all rather splendid. Um, I can't seem to get the stereo work in though. pressing the wrong button or what but I can't make it work and the voltmeter doesn't work but you've got fuel gauge temperature gauge rev counter um, and a, a mixture air fuel ratio gauge as well which is all digital and works bucket seats are in good order black in the back black in there near side rear wing all very nice Bubbles just here on the edge of the roof. Break through the paint just there. It's just a, so windy and dusty today, it's getting covered in dust just standing here. The boot lid's all as it should be, and in the boot, it's got that's our mount for, uh, for when we do our driving videos. It's got the boot board, and then we just put a new, much higher capacity battery in with the supercharger. Um, down the offside it looks straight and correct down there. All good here. 
again, this trim could be slightly better fitted. Oh, sorry, didn't show you that. The gutter trim there should be should, could be slightly better fitted. The driver's door is all nice. A couple of chips on the edge of the driver's door just there. And apex panel is all good. Wing panel there is all good. And then inside, driver's door card. Showing um, 82,000 miles. Haven't been through the history yet, but clearly it's um, it's been rebuilt. So yeah, it's a <laughs> bit of a weapon. This we will take it out in a minute, and it'll be fun. Anyway, my name's Simon. Hope you like it.